Hello, my name is Daljit Baines. I'm the Head of Admissions and Business Development for the Windsor Forest Colleges Group. I've been asked today to do a short video on how to make an application. The process is the same for full-time, part-time, higher education and apprenticeships. The most important thing to do is first is obviously do your research uh, to make sure you've applied for the right course. Uh, there's loads of information on our website. Um, you can get information about the course, the contents, the level, and most importantly, the entry requirements. On the website, there's an opportunity for you to actually select more than one subject and one course. So if you are interested in applying to, for instance, at Langley, uh, but you also see a course at the other sites, which is Stroh's and Windsor, you can also select those particular courses and put them into one basket. And that allows you to make one application online, uh, which is a very quick and easy process to do. Once you've chosen your subjects and your courses, you can then put them in the basket and then you can press the button to apply. Uh, the apply online button allows you to set up an account with us and you can make an online application. It's very important when you're making an online application that you have an email address because it's actually generated. Your account is generated based on your email address. If you don't have one, uh, please do set one up. Um, it's pretty straightforward. Do remember to keep it memorable, maybe make it relevant to yourself, um, use your name for instance, and there's a whole variety of different providers who can do that for you. And that will allow you to make the online application. Before making an application, it's important to get all the information we might need for the application. And I'll explain that in more detail now. So when making an online application, it can take anywhere between five to 10 minutes. And the idea is we will ask you uh, some details about yourself. So things like your personal details. So we ask things about your address, your date of birth, your contact details. Um, if you are an adult, it will ask for your emergency contact details. If you are 16 to 18, we will ask for your parents' contact details. We also ask for about your circumstances. So for instance, we ask about your qualifications. So if you've got qualifications already, we ask about what those qualifications are, what levels, what grades. Um, there's an opportunity to fill that in online. And you can also scan and attach documents, uh, certifications, pictures of your qualifications as well. If you are 16 and you are waiting for your results, uh, we appreciate that. Um, you will be able to give us your target or predicted grades. And, and that'll be enough. That'll be enough for us to get things going. We're here to help you. That's the most important. If you get stuck in any of the process, uh, applying or researching for a course, uh, you want some more information, please contact the admissions team. We're here to help. Once you made an online application, what will happen is um, we will receive it. And subject to the type of application you made, if it's an interview-based course, we'll be in touch will arrange a telephone interview with you. You'll be told what date and time to call. Uh, we'll even give you the contact number you provided so you can double check that's the correct number. So if I haven't mentioned it before, please do make sure you give us a, a contact number, whether it's a mobile phone or a landline, because that's how we will contact you. And once we've got that information, we'll contact you. Our way of communication with you will be by email. So do check your emails regularly. Um, do check your junk or spam just in case our emails go there. In the majority of cases, it should be perfectly fine. If you have any problems or you um, don't have any communication, like I said, please get in contact with us and we'll do what we can to help you. The telephone interview is pretty straightforward. It's like a face-to-face -face interview. Uh, we'll be asking about the, your circumstances, why you want to do the course, what's your aspirations, what's your goals and where you wish to take the course for the future. Is it a particular career you have in mind? Uh, do you wish to go into maybe university or higher education? Um, and what we'll do basically is that our curriculum colleagues will basically check that you meet the entry requirements and this course meets your needs. That's the most important thing. If the course, for instance, is maybe at a level that's too high, we will suggest about alternative courses. So we will always try to give you something that will meet your needs and works for you and obviously but at the same time stretches you and challenges you at the same time as well. Don't forget there's always opportunity to progress within courses at the college. The online application process covers Langley, Windsor and Strodes. 
So you always get a chance to apply simultaneously. Um, the telephone interviews are pretty straightforward as well. So when you have a telephone interview, it's important that you give us as much information as you can about your situation. Our colleagues from the curriculum are here to help. They want to make sure the course is the right one for you, the contents is the correct, it's going to meet your needs, and the level is going to be enough for you to actually stretch you and challenge you. Once you have the interview, my colleagues will verbally tell you whether you got an offer. And if you do, congratulations. We will confirm that in an email to you so you know you got an offer and you have an opportunity to accept your place using your online account. Um, there is an option there to allow you to accept and that secures your place at the Windsor Forest Colleges Group. You can have multiple offers. So if you are not sure and you want to think about your options, maybe you want to have a, a, a situation where you have an offer at Langley plus maybe another site, uh, whether it's Stroza Windsor, you can keep those offers simultaneously. You can also apply for multiple courses in the same campus. So for instance, if you're not sure between something like business and ICT, you can actually apply for both, have an interview for both. And if you are in a position of getting an offer, you can hold on to offers and accept both. But at some point, you will need to make that decision about which way you would like to go. And that decision really will come into effect from around August. We'll be contacting you over the summer to give you a time slot and a date when you should come in for your actual enrollment process. Keeping in mind with the social distancing rules in place, we have done a lot to make sure the college sites are secure and safe for you. And there'll be more information sent to you by communication by email, giving you exact details about the arrangements done. But please go to our website now, You'll see loads of information there and we'll keep on updating it regularly. We are totally aware and mindful that we want to make sure it's a safe environment for you to attend. And obviously the classroom will be a safe and positive learning experience for you. If you're an adult and you have received an offer, congratulations. There is an extra step for you that we need to talk to you about. It's about the course fees. Um, there are initiatives and incentives from the government to help you with course fees. In some situations, we can actually eradicate the fee completely and get it fully covered by the government. But it's important that you give us information about your circumstances. So going back to the online application, there's a section about your circumstances. It talks about things like whether you're on benefits, uh, what's your working pattern, uh, how many hours you're working, is it full time, part time? Um, this is very it can feel a bit intrusive, but the idea is if you give us this information, it will help us assess your application and we can advise you about the fee or whether you need to pay in the first place. OK, so it's very important you give that, that information to us. In either case, if you are an adult or 16 to 18 year old, um, we will be in touch with you over the summer. We will arrange a time slot for you to come in to do enrollments. It is about making sure you come on those days with the necessary documents if we request them. So you may be asked to bring in certifications or copies. Like I said, if you are able to put this information online and scan it or take a picture, that would be hugely helpful to us because we can assess that before you arrive and then you can just have to do a validation process with us. Uh, the other thing that you might be asked to do is bring some kind of proof of uh, eligibility. So things like maybe a passport uh, or identification and that will be in the email you will receive. And lastly, it's maybe some sort of form of payment. We are able to take payment by credit card, debit card. We can do that, like I said, by online or in person or by telephone. Um, but we'll be in contact with you to discuss that if you're an adult. If you're 16 to 18, your courses are fully covered by the government, so they're absolutely free. Um, so there's no fee that you need to pay there. Um, the only group that needs to be considered in that category, which is 18 year olds who are thinking of doing a higher education course, where you need to maybe apply for a loan. If you are in that group, uh, we would have contacted you and we would have given you some information on how to make a loan with a student loans company. For more information on the process of how to make a loan, please contact the admissions team and we will be able to assist you further. I hope you found this video useful. If you need more advice or more help with your application, um, including things like resetting passwords or um, 
accessing information about course content or double checking whether you got them you meet the entry requirements um, please give us a call uh, the admissions team are here to help you our telephone number is 01753 you can also email us at admissions at windsor-forest.ac.uk um, good luck and we look forward to seeing you take care